Hello, my name is Dr. Waith and I'm an internal medicine specialist here at BCA. Today we have Izzy. She's an 11 year old Shih Tzu. Um, she's my personal pet. We're going to collect a blood sample from Izzy. I know you may be very worried and this may seem very frightening. However, once you become accustomed to the process, it becomes very easy and your pet actually may look forward to it as they will often get a small little treat as a reward. There are a couple of places that we recommend pulling blood samples from. The inside of the lip. This would actually be good in dogs that have very long droopy lips, like hound dogs. Some dogs are very sensitive around the mouth and there is a risk for biting. And so you don't want to put yourself at risk for that to happen. And then there's also the margin of the ear. Sometimes the inside of the ear can be used. The paw pads is another very common place. Another area is the callus. Like some dogs have elbow calluses. So for Izzy, I think the best location to collect that sample would be from the inside of her ear. Um, and we're gonna use the glucometer to test her blood sample for her blood sugar levels. We're going to remove a lancet from the little pouch. So we're gonna go ahead and take out a test strip and we're going to insert it into the glucometer. And you'll see a number pop up on, on the screen. And you wanna make sure that it matches your species um, of pet, in this case, a dog, um, which is the number 35. We will collect a blood sample from Izzy's ear. So we will bend her ear back. Sometimes you can use a warm um, cotton ball or warm cloth to help stimulate blood flow. So your glucometer will beep twice when the sample is read, after having beeped once once the sample has been obtained. After the sample has been taken, if necessary, you can place a dry cotton ball on the collection site to help stop further bleeding. Try to use the same site each time you take a sample for consistent results, but move to a different site if you're having trouble getting a sample or the site is getting irritated. Make sure to be in a well-lit area so you can see the blood drop form. A thin layer of petroleum jelly over the collection site can help the blood form into a droplet. If you have not received enough of a sample after 60 seconds, change the lancet or needle and try a different site with a bit deeper poke. Give your pet one of their favorite low carbohydrate treats after sampling to make sure blood sugar collection is a positive experience for your pet.